All right, so today in Illustrator, we're going to go over how to take a hand-drawn image um, and turn it into a vector using uh, two different ways. First, uh, and I'm gonna copy this uh, with my black arrow move tool, selection tool, um, like that, All right? How did I do that? Held down the Alt key with my left hand because my left hand is almost always right over my Alt or Shift. Um, so I've got one here selected. Here's my other one selected. And one of the things you'll notice when you have any image selected um, up top, if I don't have this clicked, it's whatever thing I'm on. I click it and see that the options up here have changed, okay? And on any image, you should get these options here about em embed or edit original image trace. I'm gonna go right for image trace, okay? And there is an image trace menu actually that is not over here yet, yeah, there it is. Um, I'm gonna click okay. It always says that, this may proceed slowly. It means it takes like three whole seconds, right? And obviously that looks terrible. All the darkness in the shadow here is just lost. But what I can do is go to my image trace menu. And if you don't know that this is image trace menu, you can always go to or window and go to window image trace and select that. I already have it checked because that'll just make it go away. But window image trace, they are alphabetical. Um, and I can take this before um, I hit, you know, uh, expand, which is gonna turn this into a vector. I can mess with the controls in my image trace menu, right? First off being the threshold, I'll bring it down some, and we can see right there, I've lost a lot of that shadow part, but I've also lost some detail in my drawing. Now, this may not be a perfect method here because of the poor quality of my picture, but I'm starting to get to the point where I can do that. My advanced options, I can mess with those as well. Um, and one of the advanced options I always like to do is to just remove noise, take that all the way down to one and see what that does for me. Um, and then maybe take it way up, see what that does for me. Didn't do anything, weird. A lot of times that has the most uh, dramatic effect. You can see some, a little bit in here. If I have my, um, there we go. You can add more corners to oftentimes make it more detailed. You can uh, advance up your paths. And this is really not, the dramatic effect differences is gonna be in that threshold. So let me get it as good as I can. Something like that. Take my noise down. And I'm gonna hit expand. Now you see what happened here is that all of this, um, getting text like crazy, all of these shapes now have a vector edge to them. And that's what that blue line is. When I zoom in, it's got thousands of little tiny anchor points. And as we've learned before, each one of those anchor, anchor points has handles on it that you can see, and I wish they were different colors. So if we got one that had a good, these are really, really small guys. Um, I cannot turn my text off. Guys, these are vectors. These are handles. We can adjust them. We also can't see that part because it's turned both the black shapes and the white shapes into vectors. And if I wanted to work with this, I'd want to get rid of, you know, this big black shape. I would need to use my knife to cut it apart from the rest of them. And then check and see if I can select it. Yeah, now I can. Right. Um, but I also want to get rid of all these white shapes. The best way to do that is to use my direct selection tool click on any one of the areas that you know is being filled in with a white shape and you can tell that it's white because the fill is white and not none and delete. Before I do that, I'm gonna select this button here, similar objects and then delete. Now I know I got them all. Let's do the pen tool next. <clears throat> 